every once in a while, there comes a watch that changes your life. It makes you reevaluate your existence and all you thought was true and beautiful. Like in a dream landscape, okay, I have no idea how to start this video. So let's just look at the culprit. As I promised, this is the worst watch that I've ever come across so far. The HMT Sherpa, shot in glorious 4K with an absolute mother of a camera. All right, here it is, from India. No, there is no box, just the watch. The watch is Indian and was produced starting in 1976 to celebrate Indian mountaineering. Production was apparently halted in 1990. And it has the following specs. A diameter of 38 millimeters, 44 millimeters lug to lug and 18 millimeters between them. You don't get sapphire glass, acrylic hesalite. The strap is basically paper and cotton and only has one of these flicky things. The movement is a manual wound HMT 0231 Parashock with 17 jewels. So, why do I feel that it simply isn't worth your hard-earned money? Well, most of my gripes come with the function of a watch, and this watch doesn't do it for me. The movement doesn't hack, and you can't even poor man hack it. The minute hand jumps every once in a while too when you try to push the crown back. You can wind it up fully with five turns, and it has a power reserve of about 24 hours. The crown is minuscule and feels quite flimsy. I mean, look at it. It says on the back that it's waterproof, but no. It also says it's shock resistant, and I am a bit tempted to test that. Anyway, there are things that I actually like. Mainly, I like the dial, and I like it a lot. As a matter of fact, this watch was just such a grave disappointment to me. I was hoping for something at least Russian in build quality, but got something in the lines of a watch you get on Wish. I fell in love with the dial and the look of the watch, and really, really wanted the watch to be something I could use. But I just can't. The bare minimum for me is a movement that can backhack. And if it ain't back hack, it ain't worth jack and a half. But it does have drill lug holes, so... And here it is on my 19 centimeter, 7.48 inch or 0.000944 for long wrist. As I've stated before, it looks fine. I mean, it's a very, very good looking watch. But the functionality and the quality no, I just can't live with it. I really want to use this watch, but I can't. It is just too annoying to set. And I mean, uh, I have swatches that feel less plasticky than this watch. Anyway, the watch goes for anything between 15 US dollars and 100 US dollars. I paid 30 US dollars for mine and that was just too much. I guess it's a piece of history and the only Indian watch that I know of. So that is some value, I suppose. But when I think of the Russian watches I can get for the same cash, it just isn't worth it. HMT, if you're watching this and feel that I'm unfair and you do have a watch of better quality, please hit me up. I want to like this watch. I want to like all of your watches. All of them. They look lovely. But this one, this very one, just isn't it. Thank you all so much for watching. Regular service will be resumed next time. So join me then because I feel it will be a very good one. Take care, folks. Catch you next time.